ran about 12 miles from Venice Marina out here into the Gulf, out to a really shallow rig for this part of the world. And we're trying to sabiki up some big baits we can use for our tuna fishing this morning. Can a little blue runner eat a sabiki this big? Uh, yeah, they will. Dude. I wonder if it felt heavy. I got you. That's a stud there. Yeah, that's a stud. A little too big. That's oh, almost filetable. Problem with these baits are they're too big for what we're what we're targeting today. Right, we want a little bit smaller. Baits. Little peanut size blue runners. That's why I put on these these really small sabikis, number sixes. Sounds like you want me to catch small fish. Small sabiki, small <laughs> small weight. Try to get them on top. Doesn't compute. Try this other spot on the uh, other corner of the rig. Now, this is a sabiki rig right here. It's got these little white feathers on it, little green heads, and they can come with red heads on them too, but I, usually I like these little light green, lime green heads. And it's a bait catching rig, and what you do is you put a weight on one end, you tie the other end of the line here, and we drop it down into the water column, and the bait feeds on this like it's phytoplankton little pieces of bait that they would feed on down there. That's how we're gonna catch our bait today. We're in 85 feet of water, so we can't use cast net. our long run out to the rig here this morning where we're going to start some drifts with some chunk bait. But as we pulled up, we got yellowfin tuna, blackfin tuna all busting on the surface out here. So we're going to throw some of these big poppers at them on some spinning gear and see if we can just get one to blow up quick on top. This topwater bait that I'm throwing here, it mimics a wounded bait fish up top struggling in this real clean blue water. Those tuna will see that bait struggling and come up and explode on it. It's really an impressive strike when you can get bit on a topwater bait. Reel, reel, reel. He's swimming at you, reel, reel, reel. Austin, you think it's a shark? Yep. It's no shark, my friend. All I was doing, I was just taking the chunk and feeding it out, free lining it, keeping a lot of slack in the line, and it's letting it go as far as I can, almost letting half the spool out. Just dropping it into the current. Just dropping it in. And then you feel them take it out of your hand. Nice. I think every time we come to Louisiana to do this, you catch a tuna. What's up with that? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but he's got a smile on his face that's about this big. What we're doing this, Mike, we're almost letting out sometimes a half a spool of line. Just keep free lining it so there's no tension on it. Just let it fall freely. Well, we're, we're in a little bit of water here, right? What's our depth? 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet. You could almost touch. <laughs> the sky. <laughs> now, Kevin, this is a fish we can't just tighten the drag down and go after? No, we because uh, he dives so deep, so it's putting so much pressure on him. So basically, we just line the boat up sideways so he can fight it just right off the side of the boat. Okay. No need to run them down. They're not going to run out from you. Some of them will, but most of them will, will sound on you. Come on. There you go. Put a little pressure on him. I'm going to back up, put it on. I see you're turning the boat sideways just to put more pressure on the fish, help the angler? That's correct. We're just quartering the fish, keeping the motors maybe one in gear, just so it doesn't run toward the back of the boat. Come on, you're almost there, big boy. a boy. Way to start the day, Austin. Yeah, there's an opener. 
Okay, okay Austin. Let's move that thing. Let's move it. Just hang on, hang on. Let him pinwheel around. Let him spin around. Right to here, Mike. Huh? Got right it to here. Hey. Yeah, I got, I got the, I got the rod. You just come with me. All right. You ready? Well, maybe not. Keep reeling while you're doing it. Come here. There you go. What we did there was, Austin originally started on the back corner of the boat this morning with the rod kind of locked in, the rod holder pitched out. And what that did was it put us in danger of that fish breaking us off on the motors. So we tried to move him to the rod holder midship so he'd have a better angle, less opportunity for that fish to cut us off. That's a beautiful yeah, tuna. Does. Great fish. Great fish. Close. It's about there. Right here. Hang on, hang on. One more time. One yeah. more time. Ain't no reason to get in a hurry now. Don't be impatient. Get him, Jim. Nice fish, Austin. Hey, come on, boy. Hey, give me some. That boy went to open the morning, kid. Hello, baby. Huh? Hey, like that, huh? That's Bayou style right there. The Pro Marine Fishing Team.